Hello everyone, I'm Aurora Peachy and Guild Wars 2 is back. We have the trailer for episode 5, which is the first episode in the second half of the Guild Wars 2 Living World, season 2. So, this is called Echoes of the Past. I'm nervous. My heart is beating. Ooh, cool. What is that glowing? In the Zephyrit ship. Oh. Cry. Sad. Love that shot. Yes, it has. Aaron, Master of Peace. Oh! It, look, it still looked like an egg. Oh, this is a cool summary of the first half of season two. That was so awesome. Oh my god. I'm nervous. Going further into the desert? Oh my god. Abaddon. Ogden. Whoa. Was that. Oh, that crystal chamber. Was that like. Glint's cave? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe? This was a fantastic little recap of the first half of season two. I mean, you had the Zephyrite ship going down. We had, um, you know, the, the glowing from the one Zephyrite ship. Um, it's like, what is that? That was taken. I still think it was an egg. There's a shot here of the Master of Peace. There's Aaron and the Master of Peace. You can see it from the side a little bit. It so looks like an egg. It's showing, uh, you know, Mordremoth's reach. Mordremoth is growing. Mordremoth has awoken. Um, oh, on our vision, that was the, that was the absolute coolest thing. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. I was kind of hoping that we were gonna get like a sound clip, like with that trailer, like the most impactful thing was him saying, Ascalon, I cleanse you of this curse. And that was like the most impactful thing. Oh my goodness. And then at the end we had, um, yeah. So th this is where uh, the first half of season two left us is with this, this, uh, this vision that we weren't sure how to interpret. And now we're getting new stuff. Look at look at this thing! Look at this thing! Oh my goodness! And is this the four there there are, there's gonna be people who will interpret this way, way better than I will. So I, I'm here more to I don't want to say any wrong information, so I'm here more to give you my emotional reaction. So obviously there's more more drum coming everywhere. We've got help from whoever's airship that is. I probably should know that, but I don't, so I'm not gonna say anything. And embarrass myself even more by not knowing. Um, season two returns and hurdles an unforgettable end. Shiver Peaks? Um, here's the teaser image we got. This is the back of a statue of Abaddon. Um, <laughs> who knows where, what that could mean? There's like a library, and then we have. We, we got a shot of Ogden. 
So holy crap, something to do with either the knowledge that Ogden has or the, the possibly the dwarves. I don't know, but we ha we see Ogden, this last remaining stone dwarf. We have this shot of these crystals that go by way too fast. So obviously we are physically going here because we see Marjorie and Casimir here. Um, which is really nice to see Marjorie actually out and doing stuff even after Belinda's death. So I, I wonder if we're going to get any more story as far as like if she's dealing with um, her sister's death or there's probably going to be a lot of lingering issues there that we're going to see. Um, but I'm glad to see that she's not just like out of the picture, like cowering away. Like obviously she's going to want to work through it. So we still have Marjorie. We have this crystal cavern that looks all like... It's like rainbowy and, and and trippy. It's like it's ah these these go by so fast. The only thing I can think of here is this is like some kind of crystal cavern, and the only place that I can think of that we've seen this before is Glint's lair. What is this thing? Okay, this at first when I first uh, watched this, this is someplace new. I, I thought that actually this was um, back in Scarlet's lair. And who is that? We have Ogden here, so Ogden is like leading us to- there's- this is some- some place with all kinds of secrets and all these crates and scrolls and stuff and whatever this thing is. It looks like an hourglass? And then it explodes? <laughs> what? And then- Lord knows what that is. It's some kind of purple energy. We know purple energy is, is uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of Abaddon. And then are we getting sucked into something there? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, I, I'm sure th there's people who will interpret this way better than me. The, the stuff just in the second half of that trailer, like in those 10 seconds, looked like stuff that could fill the entire rest of the season. Possibly going to Glint's lair, which I'm gonna think that that crystalline place is. Perhaps that's what that hourglass was? Perhaps they kind of did that a little bit out of order? Maybe the that hourglass was a way to find Glint's lair? Because you can't just go and walk into Glint's lair. You have to have some kind of a portal or some kind of a way, a magical way to get there. Maybe that hourglass was something that transports the characters into Glint's lair. For what purpose we're going there, I'm not sure, because Glynn's dead. I still think that there's another baby dragon, because in in Prophecies we saw Glynn's eggs. In Eye of the North we actually saw one of Glynn's babies, like fully hatched, not fully grown, but it was a sizable dragon. Like it was much bigger than the player characters, but it was just a baby that we had to protect. So... My prediction is that there's actually, maybe Glint does still have some eggs, but my prediction is that there's actually um, one or more of Glint's children that it's been 250 years, so they're full grown, and maybe it or they are hiding out in Glint's lair, and so like that's their new home, and maybe Ogden tells us of the history of Glint's, because there's going to have to be some way for people who didn't play Guild Wars 1 to kind of catch up on this lore that they're apparently delving deep into. Um, so it's possible that this episode is going to just do a lot of um, reminding us of Guild Wars 1 lore and giving giving players who didn't play Guild Wars 1 and players who, who did, but it's been a long time. We don't remember all the little details. I'm guessing that this whole episode is going to be a reminder of that as well as um, we're going to get this new stuff like new locations um, that Ogden takes us to this place and then perhaps this hourglass is a way to get into Glint's Lair and through that, that's all like Guild Wars 1 territory, so which makes me so excited. So perhaps that's going to be the way that we um, are reminded of the story and we kind of get a recap before stuff can actually move forward and that really, really excites me. Um, so that's all of my predictions from what I saw. I'm, I'm really excited to hear the theories and to uh, watch other people's videos that know much more about the lore than I do. Okay, it's gonna stop rambling. I will see you guys on November 4th when we delve into Echoes of the Past. Okay, bye.